Oh, that was I can barely hear you. Oh, we were, just, we were just talking about how it let us in and there was nobody else. And so I thought it made me the host and I got a little concerned. Oh, it might have. I don't know. I I have it set so that people can join like five or ten minutes early or whatever. So in case I'm slow or yeah. So how's it going? Well, pretty good. How are you? Mm, not too bad. I've been doing a bit of work on the robot, so. Wonder where everybody else is. It's not like I waited till the last minute to send up the Zoom meeting. I was actually oh. good this time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Text lower, let's see. <clears throat> so have you guys been able to make an attempt at the um, ball collector? Not yet. <laughs> Not yet, okay. Just haven't had time to do it? Or are you stuck? Or? Uh, a little bit of all. <laughs> okay. Well, if you don't let me know that you're stuck, it's kind of hard to help you. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't ask questions, it's hard to help because I'm not a mind reader. So what would you like help with? Uh this is, I'm not really sure like what we're supposed to do. You're not really sure what? I'm not really sure what we're supposed to do. Okay. 
Um, so we need a basic Java object that uh, is a that inherits from that one. So I can show you quickly. Uh, let's see here. Uh, share screen. Uh, screen one. Get to see my ants pictures really quick. Uh, so let me switch to ball collector. There's Laura. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Hello. She must have just got my text. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that. Um, so, yeah. so as far as, so Kayla and Olivia are sort of like asking, we don't understand what it is we're trying to do. So this ball collector has a couple motors associated with it, right? So we need you need to add the motors into this and add some member functions to basically use those motors. So um, this is what it looks like now. I can go back and, and show you what mine looks like. And I've in mine got a lot more complicated looking, and trust me, it just looks more complicated because I've been adding a whole bunch of the dashboard stuff, which has involved adding a few other things, like adding things like being able to control speeds of the motors from the dashboard. Um, I'm not expecting you guys to do that right now because I haven't told you how to do it. Um, and like the majority of this class is, this is the biggest function, which is all dashboard stuff, like the function states in its name. It's initializing dashboard tab. Because uh, if you saw like the, the drivetrain dashboard that I sent out early this morning, mm -hmm. um, the dashboard stuff isn't hard, but it's just more tedious and it involves uh, just like putsy work. It's, but the actual guts of the um, ball collector, it's just these simple little short methods like, okay, we, we need something to raise it. We need something to lower it. We need something to check if we're at a limit switch. We need something to run the intake motor to suck balls in or eject balls or stop it. So to do that, so you, there's those simple methods to write, and then you basically need these are the this is basically the, the motors on the ball the ball collector, right? You have a move motor, or as Larry suggested, naming it uh, lift motor. Um, I thought lift motor was good, and there's an intake motor. They're run on sparks. There's a PWM port that they're assigned to. So, yeah, so basically you, you basically need to define your motors. Basically those two little lines there. And then um, start working on some of the, like, okay, how do I lower the ball collector? How do I raise the ball collector? How do I intake balls? How do I inject balls? How do I tell the move motor to stop? So how do I stop the ball collector from when it like is raising and lower. Because if you tell it to raise and it hits the limit switch and you never stop it, it's just gonna keep going. So, um, well, Larry has has assured me that um, even if we're to go keep, keep running, that A, you're not gonna break the robot. B, you're not gonna burn up the, the motor because the motor is fairly robust, but I don't want to rely on that. I don't want to just sit there run a motor until it stalls. I want to stop the motor at the appropriate time. So um, yeah, so if you look at the, the, if you look in the branch that I've been working on, ignore all this stuff for now. This is all dashboard stuff. Don't worry about that. Um, and this stuff, ignore that. 
oh, you'll, you'll also need some limit switches, right? Because there's some limit switches in the ball collector as well. Because that tells you when it gets to the top or the bottom. So these are the limit switches. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So Bella, how's it going? I'm going pretty good, sorry I'm late. So are you stuck or just haven't had time to work on stuff? I just haven't had time to work on stuff. Okay. I'll try, and I also had a question. Um, at the very beginning, it says import stuff. Uh, do I do I have to do that for my program as well? Um, so the nice thing with the uh, with VS Code is, as you add stuff, um, you can you don't actually like all this stuff up here. I didn't type any of this, so I'll show you an example here. Um, trying to think of a type that I don't use that's in here. Um, oh, I can do, so, so say like I, I want to use, for some silly reason, I wanted to use the drivetrain in here, right? Because that is a type drivetrain and it's off in some other place, right? I right. test drivetrain, wah, whatever I was going to use it for. Right, so I, I declare it. Actually, it's, it's already in here. Can't already be in here. Uh, what's another example? Um, oh, relay. Yes, say we had a relay switch. And there's a type, these are the spikes on the robot. Bella knows about spikes. Uh, in the WPI lib, they're called relays. Um, they're just switches. So I could, I might have a relay and I call it relay, right? So notice here, I get the, the little squiggly line and it says it do, doesn't know what relay is. So if I do the quick fix, the very first option is import relay. So when I do that, it automatically puts the import statement in for me. Got it. Okay, cool. So, so a lot of times, um, sometimes I've noticed VS Code will automatically add it for you. Sometimes a lot, of, and sometimes you get the red squiggly thing, and then you can do the right, do the the quick fix thing or control period, and pick the import thing, and that will generally fix it. And so now the only red squi the only squiggly line thing I get is that. Um, I, don't, I haven't used it, which I could care less about. It'll still build, it'll still run if I'm not using it. But. So now that I see the other interesting thing is now that I've removed it because I'm not using it anymore, you'll come up here and you'll notice there's these squiggly ones here. Um, Those are ones you're using. And you'll notice here for this, is, it's um, the, the, the problem is that it's never used. So I could, I can delete it. So eventually, I should we should I should go in and I should delete the ones that aren't being used. It's just keeping things tidy. Um, so so you're not importing extraneous things that you're not using. Hi. Like like I was playing with instant command um, for some stuff and uh, yeah. So it, I to play with what I was trying to do. I had to import this this library I'm not using it anymore. And I can, and I did, I import, I, I did it the same way. I right click or did the quick fix thing and imported the library. So, um, so yeah, you don't necessarily, you won't necessarily type all this stuff at once. You, this sort of builds as, as you go along doing stuff, like as you add a spark, when you add the spark, Initially, it's going to have a squiggly line under it, and you can do the quick fix thing and import. You'll see there's a library up here for Spark, and there's one for digital input. So, as you do those things, it will, you can import them by doing the quick fix thing and not actually have to go type import edu.wpi.first.wpi.lib.j.digital input. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> So yes, there, there's, uh, 
easy ways to do a lot of some of the stuff, some of the monotonous things. That's one of the monotonous things. Good question, though. Anything else? So, did you guys see the um, dashboard that I sent out this morning for the drivetrain? Yeah. What did you think? Yes, I no. Because <laughs> there it is right there. So. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was much nicer than previous years. <laughs> previous years is a pretty low bar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because yeah, previous years we really didn't have much, but um, I've actually had the time to sit and figure out how to do some really cool stuff with the dashboards as far as like using these sliders to like build set values and to, um, and Larry just asked me, it's like, so how are we going to use this simple arc thing? And it's like, and he pretty much nailed exactly what my intent was around this was. It's basically to experiment with to see what kind what what values give us what kind of arc and see how it works. That's purely what this is. I'm not expecting you guys, I, I will show you guys how to do stuff like this. This is actually not hard. It's more tedious than anything, but it's not it's not really difficult. If you can figure out the ball collector, you should be able to do dashboard stuff. Uh, so I don't know if I have it in my, oh yeah, uh, oh, I reverted my changes. So one thing I did do the early part of this week is um, I was playing around with writing various different autonomous modes and being able to choose between the various different like, hey, say we have, this is just an example. We want an autonomous mode that drives a square or an autonomous mode that raises the ball handler, lowers it, raises it, lowers it, raises it, lowers it, waits 15 seconds, starts the, ejects the balls, starts the eject process for the balls, waits 15 seconds, and then stops it. So I was able to do all that. I was able to write all the various different things to do. I was able to write the raise, lower, raise, lower, raise, lower thing. And another autonomous mode. I was able to write those two things in like 15 minutes. And then another 10 minutes, I was able to add um, on the main, on the, it's not on here anymore, I don't think. Oh, it is. So there's this little auto chooser thing, which when, it's, when there's something there, it'll actually have the various different autonomous modes and you can pick which autonomous mode you want it to run. So this is the, because for the galactic search one where we gotta go pick up the balls, we're supposed to flip a coin to figure out which set of balls we're supposed to go pick up. So we could have in here, and this is super easy to do, um, a routine to go pick up red balls or a routine to go pick up blue balls. So depending on the outcome of the coin flip, we go, we pick the right one, we pick the one we want, and then it'll go do it. Pretty easy. So um, I just hadn't ever really done this before. I did a little research on it. It's, I followed the example. It's pretty easy. I can show you guys how to do that. But I want to see you guys at least make progress or make an attempt on the ball collector. So because the ball collector is actually pretty sim straightforward, pretty simple. So. Okay. So you guys have anything else? Have anything else for us that you're desperately going? I must know this. I need this. So did you win your volleyball games, Bella? Yes, we did. Cool. However, I today I did during practice. I did something weird to my ankle, where it's uh -huh. not twisted or anything. It's just really sore. So I'm good after I'm good to go find ice to put on it just so I'm all good for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So since we have another one. Yeah. So. By the way, don't go up against Christina. Olivia and Kayla know who I'm talking about. When it comes yes. to blocking, don't do it as I have no. <laughs> Okay. So um the driver station. So if somebody can get to the driver station laptop, either 
tomorrow or Friday, one thing you guys, somebody can do for me that would be really, really helpful is um, get to the driver's station and bring up the shuffleboard dashboard and count how many squares across it is and how many squares down. I, and I'm talking not, not the small squares, the big squares, so. Um, I can try to do that tomorrow as I'm going in for three hours after school to try to okay. work on electronics. Okay. Oh, Ethan is showing up just as everybody else has finished their questions. Ethan, are you there? Ethan, calling Ethan. Where's the... Oops, sorry, I'm late message saying, yes, I'm here. Wait, it's 100% but... completely my fault. I asked him what? where he was, and then like 10 minutes later, he responded, and I didn't see it. And he was like, tell wait, I'll be late, and I didn't see it till just now. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I'm sorry. Uh, no problem. See yeah, I didn't get anything. Oops, that's promotion stat. Yeah, nope, I didn't get anything. So, oh, there, uh, no, that's, oh, that's my um, <coughs> flying globe meeting. I have a flying globe meeting tonight at 7.30. So, okay, so Ethan, you got any questions? I mean, have you been able to try anything? Are you stuck or just not have time? Chat window, I guess. Okay. So, have you been able to attempt anything, or have you just not had any time? Did you hear me, Ethan? <laughs> no problem, I got the window open. I got the chat window open now, so. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, so um, Saturday is going to be mainly testing out because I, I believe um, Mr. Norton wants to try driving the robot on Saturday. Is yeah, I'll be time? yeah I'll be in um at C at school doing that. Yeah, so Saturday. I think the main focus for Saturday is going to be purely driving. The ball collector is not going to be critical. I'm not worried about the ball collector. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm <clears throat> working on setting up a list of tests basically for Mr. Norton to run because uh, I'm not going to be there. Um, but I'm going to be there virtually. I'll be there remotely, uh, either through FaceTime or, or Zoom or whatever. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I want to set up some tests to have it basically like drive a square, drive a hexagon, um, do some, just drive 10 feet and stop and see how far it goes. Uh, I want to drive an arc. I want to do like a 180 degree arc. I also want to try and do a 360 degree circle. It may end up being more like 270 degrees or, or something. Um, so, uh, I'm going to come up with a list of test cases. If, um, if anybody else has time, 
<laughs> but I really want you guys to at least make an attempt on the ball collector versus having you guys <clears throat> come up with basically test cases or a test plan. Um, I will do that, but if you have ideas on things to test, obviously send them to me, I will include them. Um, I've been, my, the rest of the week I'm focusing on trying to get the drivetrain ready to, to test on, on Saturday so we can really kind of like see how, I'm really anxious to see some of the stuff work. I really want to see how well it does the turns, how well it does the arcs and all this other stuff. Um, so it, I'm really anxious to see that. I'm, I'm not certain how it's going to work, but um, that's why we're trying it out. <laughs> and then we go from there. So I'm super excited about that. So uh, I hope to have all the, the dashboard stuff for the drivetrain ready by Saturday. So by Saturday morning. So. Anyhow, um, cool. So unless anybody has anything else, um, I'm going to let you guys go. I have to go make some pizza. So, cool. Laura, did you have anything? Nice. Um, no, not really. Um, yeah, pizza sounds good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> have a. I'm just uh, yeah, re refocusing now. I've been up since like four a.m. for something. So, um, you were up till four a.m. Yeah, it's, it's been a day, or since since this morning. Oh. Um. Because I went to bed at like but. 3 a.m. <laughs> I, I was yeah. telling Larry, I've been working them as Laura's on this one email, but I've been working nights lately. <laughs> what were you up at 4 a.m. for? What's broken? Um, just, yeah, work stuff. Yeah. Um, oh. All the payment stuff. Yeah. <laughs> taking, taking people's money. Yeah, probably, uh, it's so, probably boring. Okay. Yeah, we can chat later. Um, yep. Okay. So anyhow, well, I, unless anybody has anything else, I will let you guys go. I will post this up on, since this one was a little, had a little more content than our typical weekly check-in, I'll put it up on YouTube probably tonight sometime. So uh, have you guys found the, the me posting the, the meetings up on YouTube useful? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, it's interesting how with the pandemic, everybody's like, Oh, this Zoom, st this video conference stuff actually works really cool, and there's some cool. Things to do. Um, so yeah, I'll keep doing that. So cool. That. And then actually, I guess I have a quick question. Um, I'm not sure if there's an email that I haven't seen yet, but for Saturday, um, would it be probably like morning? Um, or like, do new. we know what time? Probably be noon because Olivia and Kayla okay. have stuff in the morning. So right, uh, totally. Well. Because uh, Mr. Norton sent out mail a couple weeks ago saying it was going to be noon from here on out because Olivia and Kayla had obligations in the morning. So. Perfect. Okay. Yep. That, that works. So. Cool. Ah. Have a good night. I'll see you guys on Saturday. So. Thank you. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye. So, bye.